Vikings did it. They made a trade for a quarterback. Josh freaking Dobbs. Welcome to the Minnesota Vikings. All right, welcome back to the Walmart and Lepagus show. I'm Walmart and Lepagus, and you know, I didn't think we were going to make a move, but we did it. Josh Dobbs, the Vikings have traded for quarterback Josh Dobbs. The Dobbs era has started in Minnesota. All you Jaron Hall supporters are probably crying right now. Vikings have a new quarterback. It is Josh Dobbs. Where are we getting Josh Dobbs and our reaction to the trade? Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Drop hashtag 10K in the comments. Giveaways are coming. We just hit 10K last week. All right, Josh Dobbs, it was just in the news, basically, because the Cardinals said we're benching him and we're starting Clayton Toon. So there's a wonderful way to start. Wonderful way to start. But uh, real quick, lay of the land, 28 years old, former fourth-round pick, bounced around from a handful of teams. Most recently, the Browns traded him to Arizona on in August for a fifth-round pick, and it started for the Cardinals. He did, and he threw for uh, two – no, 1,569 yards, eight touchdowns to five interceptions. I and I know the record wasn't there, but I actually think, I mean, he surprised people. He played a little better than they thought initially anyway. Yeah, it's funny because right when we traded for him, the first article I saw on it, it said Josh Dobbs has led the Cardinals to a one and seven record. <laughs> he led those guys to a one and seven record. He's got turds around him, though. I mean, he's on a very, 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 very bad team, so. Yeah, and the team that he beat was the Dallas Cowboys. It's a very good defense. Uh, who saw that one coming? Uh, so Josh Dobbs, what does this tell me right away? My initial thoughts are, okay, Vikings still think they can compete this season. Don't want to roll with a rookie. You roll with that rookie with no running game. That's not a recipe for success. Uh, so I think the Vikings do believe they can still get to the playoffs this year. Yeah, I mean, everything you're reading, I don't know if it was Rappaport, somebody basically saying, you know, Vikings aren't giving up yet. You know, they're this is still their chance to make a, make a push. And with Dobbs... Uh, you know, I don't think he's going to start this Sunday. I think it's still going to be the Jaron Hall show. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, we'll see how long of a leash Hall has. But really, we didn't have another quarterback. We have Sean Manning on the practice squad. So we needed to add a quarterback anyways. It's just trading for him. Uh, it was a little surprising. We don't know the compensation yet. And that's the big thing. We don't know what we gave up. I and mean, he was just traded, as I think you mentioned earlier, from the Browns to the Cardinals for a fifth round pick. So I sure as hell hope it ain't higher than that. No. Um, he was basically going to be released anyway or, or relegated to the bench or practice squad. So Vikings knowing that price want to get ahead of the waiver wire. So um, yeah, I, I really hope it's nothing higher than a, than a six round pick in 2026. If I don't, if this is even higher than a seventh round pick, I will be absolutely shocked with uh, let, let's look at the, the, the good thing on this Dobbs comes in, has, has played in 16 career games, has started in 10, I mean, he's a guy that's probably not going to wow you and go out there and win a game by himself. But he's he's I would honestly would rather have him altered more than Nick Mullins, obviously more than Sean Mannion. I think he does bring enough to the table where he can can win some games and he brings the smarts. He's been around in a lot of offenses. He's been on a lot of teams. And that's what Jaron Hall doesn't have going for him yet. He's still wet behind the ears. So as far as getting up to the line, calling that audible, doing whatever, uh, that's why Dobbs has a has a has a leg up yeah you mentioned you mentioned big dick nick mullins and i think that's the comparison like i mean these guys aren't that dissimilar i mean i'd prefer dobbs over mullins if i really had to choose but uh that could become a, a competition down the road if, if dobbs starts to struggle when he does take over the starting spot which i do i agree with you i think it's jaron hall this week was it is it new orleans after that i'm not sure the schedule but uh i think that's when we see josh dobbs yeah, I don't know. I mean, it, it's possible. Um, for a seventh round pick, I don't think you just uh, hopefully a seventh round pick. If this is a fifth round pick, uh, there, there's gonna uh, I'm gonna come on and say some very foul, foul language, but it's got to be a seventh rounder. I'm just saying, I'm not anointing him a starter at any point in the season. Hall, Hall really, Hall's gonna get his shot next week. Yeah, I'm just trying to see if there's any conversation yet. Don't see anything at this point. Uh, yeah. Oh, here it is. Yep. Cardinals trade Josh Jobs and a seventh round pick to the Vikings for a sixth round pick. Not bad. Say that again. We got a, we got a Josh Dobbs and a seventh. We gave up a sixth. All right. So he's pretty much free. We'll take it. You can't get upset about this. Uh, I mean, you can't get upset about them just taking a taking a worst case scenario. He's the backup. He's the backup, and that means Jaron Hall is doing good. Yeah, and you have a backup with some experience, with some games under his belt. A guy who just started eight games in Arizona with a shitty ass team. Uh, so we'll see. You know what? I'm glad they made a move. I'm glad they're not throwing in the towel. 
Uh, we'll see how this pans out. But again, I don't think everybody, anybody's overly excited with Josh Dobbs. Yeah, it's going to add some competition to the quarterback room. And you know what? He can make plays with his legs. He's got some things that that will make it a little more entertaining if he gets on the field. And Dobbs, he's been on some real bad teams. I think it's fair to say this is probably one of the best teams he's ever been on. So Josh Dobbs, you're welcome. You're welcome for trading you. You're not a Cardinal anymore. You got a shit ton of weapons, Josh. There's no excuse if you don't succeed here. Let's go, Josh. Let us know in the comments. What do you think of Josh Dobbs? Uh, I don't know. Give us something positive. Will he better than be better than the last Josh we had under center, Josh Freeman? Oh, God. You're better and than also, him. Remember this? Giraffes spend about 80% of their day eating. They're 20% screwing. Oh, 